We can't alert you if we can't reach you. Sign up now for Jackson County Citizen Alert. I get emergency alerts on my cell phone. My kid's school alerts by text. Alerts to my business come to my email. I made sure mom and dad's alerts go to their phone first, mine second. But we can't alert you if we can't reach you. So sign up now at jacksoncounty.org slash alert and get your alert exactly like you want it. Citizen Alert, it's free, so sign up today. Hi, I'm Mark Decker, Technology Director for Jackson County, and today I'm going to show you how to register for the Citizen Alert Emergency Notification System. Reverse 911 allows county or city officials, such as fire, police departments, emergency management, to contact you if there's an emergency affecting a location you care about. For example, if there was a fire and it was affecting your neighborhood, we could use this system to rapidly notify people and evacuate the neighborhood. Now, the system already has the ability to call landline telephones, um, but what happens if you don't have a landline telephone? Maybe you only have a cell phone, or what if you're not home when the emergency occurs? The great thing about this system is it allows you to register those other forms of contact and receive notifications via text message, mobile phone, work phone, or email. So let's show you how it works. All you have to do is go to our Citizen Alert website at www.jacksoncounty.org slash alert. And that takes you to the registration page for Citizen Alert. If you've already signed up, you can manage your profile and change your information. But if you've never signed up before, you just click on the Sign Up button. And there's three easy steps to registering. The first is to create an account. And if you've ever created an account for Gmail or Amazon or any of the many online merchants, this will look familiar to you. You'll create a username. And you'll enter a password. Be sure to choose one you can remember. You'll be asked to confirm your password. And you'll be asked to enter an email address. You'll also be asked to answer or provide a security question so that if you forget your password, the system can remind you. Click Accept Terms of Use. There's a CAPTCHA just to prevent spam. And submit. In the next step, you'll tell the system who you are and which locations you care about and have an opportunity to tell officials about special needs you may have or volunteer skills that you may offer. The second step allows you to specify what types of alerts you want to receive. For example, in addition to emergency alerts, you can receive notification about a person missing or about significant road closures or other important information. These aren't emergencies, but it might be things you'd want to know. Then you'll tell us about you. You'll put in your name, last name, and indicate whether you have special needs or volunteer skills. For example, if uh, a person in the house needs a wheelchair or has uh, medications that depend on a refrigerator, you'll be able to indicate this, and this might be useful to emergency responders. Also, if you have volunteer skills that might be useful in an emergency, such as medical training, if you're a member of a CERT team, or maybe you're a search and rescue member. And you'll be able to tell us what locations you care about. This might be your home, your office, your children's school, your mother's house, whatever it might be. You'll give it a name, such as home, and a street address, such as city and state and zip code. Click Save Location and now you've added that location as a place you care about. And you do the same thing for your home address. You can have up to five locations that you can reserve, receive alerts about. If you need to go back in and edit, you just click the edit button. Step three is where you tell us how to contact you and you can specify 
a lot of different contact paths, such as your mobile phone, work phone, email, additional home phone numbers. And it's really simple. All you need to do is enter your phone numbers. You can enter a home phone, a mobile phone. You can enter your work phone. You can also enter email addresses and a place to receive text messages, which for most people is your cell phone. After you've entered your contact paths, you can then specify in what order you want to be contacted for each type of alert. So you can choose a different way of being contacted for emergency alerts than for community alerts. Community alerts would be things like road closures, things that aren't emergencies. So maybe if it's an emergency, you want to be contacted first via your cell phone, second via your home phone, and third via your work phone. But if it's not an emergency, you want us to just leave a message on your home phone. This allows you to tell us how you'd like to be notified. You can customize your preferences and come back and change them anytime. So if you need to change your information, let's say your phone number or your email address changes, or you move out of the area and you want to delete your profile, you just click on the Manage Profile button. Enter the username and password you created in step one. And if you forgot your username or password, you can click one of these links and it'll email you a reminder. Then just click Login. Here you'll be able to manage your profile. You can edit your subscriptions, which types of alerts you want to receive. You can edit your information. And you can edit the locations you care about, as well as your contact information. If you move out of the area and want to delete your profile, you'll just click the Delete My Profile link. So as you can see, it's easy to sign up for Citizen Alert, and we hope every Jackson County resident will sign up because this system can save lives and property. Imagine, for example, being able to get notified on your cell phone if there's a problem at your elderly parent's house or at your child's school. There's lots of reasons why you might want to be notified including not only emergency alerts, but things like road closures, information you really want to know. And since you can customize your preferences, you can receive those alerts how you like to receive them. And don't forget the web address, which is www.jacksoncounty.org slash alert. And remember, if we can't reach you, we can't alert you. So sign up today. We can't alert you if we can't reach you. Sign up now for Jackson County Citizen Alert. I get emergency alerts on my cell phone. My kids' school alerts by text. Alerts to my business come to my email. I made sure mom and dad's alerts go to their phone first, mine second. But we can't alert you if we can't reach you. So sign up now at jacksoncounty.org slash alert and get your alert exactly like you want it. Citizen Alert. It's free. So sign up today.